Hi everyone, it's Evo with Glitch Machines, and today we're looking at our granular morph plotting sampler, Palindrome. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the global and footer sections of the plugin. For more videos going over Palindrome's various sections and functions, please visit the Glitch Machines website and navigate to the Palindrome webpage. The global section features controls that will affect the consolidated output of the plugin. We have a global amplitude envelope with attack and release settings. We have global amplitude and global pitch. And we also have a global reverb which you can use to add polish to the output of the plugin. Palindrome's footer section features the preset browser and its associated parameters, as well as access icons for the global menu and randomizer. You can navigate through the presets either by clicking the drop down menu and selecting a preset manually or by using the navigational arrows to increment and decrement through the list. Clicking on the Save Preset option will open a dialog box that will allow you to save your preset. Click the small gear icon in the footer area to access the Global Configuration menu. This menu houses various important functions that affect the plugin. The Initialize Parameters function will initialize all of the plugin's parameters back to their default values. The Change Sound Library Folder Location option is useful in case the Palindrome Samples folder should ever need to be moved to another location on your system. In that case, this option will open a dialog where you can point the plugin to the new location of the Palindrome Samples folder. The Restore Factory Path Presets option will restore the factory path shapes inside the eight path preset slots. The Show Log Messages option toggles the small notifications that appear in the left corner of the footer when something special happens, like a missing sound file. The Locate Preferences File option is a quick shortcut that opens the Finder or Explorer in your system to the location of the Preferences file. This file stores saved options like custom path shapes and so on. The Locate Presets Folder option is essentially a shortcut to the dedicated folder where the plugin's presets are stored. You can manually populate this folder with presets from another user, or generally access your presets whenever needed. Lastly, the Visit GlitchMachines.com option is simply a quick and convenient link that takes you to our website. This concludes our look at Palindrome's global and footer sections. Check out our website for more videos covering the various sections and functions of the plugin. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.